right guys, we are heading off to Aberdower, so let's go! So we're here now at the train station just waiting for a ride back to Burnt Island. It's been so consistently sunny today as you can see which is quite unusual weather in Scotland because the weather here is very fickle. It rains and then it gets sunny and vice versa. So right now this weather reminds me of being back in the Philippines. Very tropical, always sunny so it's quite amazing. Thank you everyone for joining me on our little Pashal Pashal out in Kirkcaldy. So we'll see you when we're back in Burnt Island. We'll just go grab some dinner. breakfast what's for breakfast we're gonna have some spinach berries we're gonna put in a banana of course and then blend all of this together in the emulsifier and there's my mama hi mom hi. all the way in the Philippines and then to top it off I'll have some liver pate and bread I'll see you all outside once we start biking Hey friends, so I just wanted to share with you the cheese platter we prepared ourselves at home. Now this is not something we do every night, it's only because I celebrated my birthday. Now what's cool about this company is that they deliver straight to your home and all the cheeses are local from the UK. What's fun about this is that it's a great idea to do something like this during the lockdown to keep you, your friends and your loved ones entertained. It also comes with a booklet that explains to you the different cheese profiles like fruity, nutty, so it's a fun activity. Did you know the seeds of a dandelion are hydrophobic? Mm -hmm. And then here we go. Watch <laughs> yeah. oh. Wow. And that's look at that. Oh, that's pretty oh cool. my goodness. They look a little bit wet. <laughs> Wait, it's slowly. It's trying to capture the detail. Yeah. Okay, go again. It's a butt. Yes. It just doesn't seem to take in any water. Okay, out.
Okay friends, so we're here at the train station and it's been such a lovely sunny day. The sun is very consistent here which is not normal in Scotland. Usually when it's sunny it starts to rain and when it rains it starts to get sunny. But right now the sun has been out and Eddie's very happy about that because well in Manila or in the Philippines it's very very consistently sunny all the time so this is normal for me. Thank you everyone for joining me on our little adventure out in Kirkcaldy. Right now we're gonna head home and prepare some dinner. We finally made it back. There's our home over there with the red door. And as you can see, that's where we hung out. I showed you a video previously of us just enjoying the sun. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back home, enjoy a nice dinner, and thank you guys for watching. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you.
Are you, are you okay? Are you finished? I'm just gonna record one last. Hey friends, so we finally made it back home. It's starting to get chilly as the day is coming to an end. So I'd like to thank all of you for watching and thank you for joining me for a Pashal Pashal, a little stroll around the area. You got to see some of the shops, but I'd like to say that I did notice a lot of the shops were closed because you know it's still COVID and everyone's still trying to keep that safe distance. So, but nevertheless, it was such a beautiful day. Um, I'm very thankful that the sun was shining. No rain in Scotland, which is um, a bit rare because all those times I was here, it always rained but right now amazing the weather's just been so amazing thank you guys for watching and i do appreciate you sticking around and i'll see you on the next episode bye love you all mm. oh good no i didn't notice yeah it looks nice actually it looks the same some stuff online and I just want to point out how amazing this packaging is so they do promote uh, being more sustainable it says 50% made from recycled material but also if you can see there's steps here to separate the material separate the plastic from the paper so we'll do just that As you can see, I was able to easily tear it apart. This is the paper, there's the plastic. I just have to remove the other part. And there you have it. I guess this part goes to the plastic segregation and this one, the paper, amazing. I feel like when people order stuff in the Philippines, we can really learn how to segregate more and do stuff like this. We're off to go biking and I'm gonna take you with me. Let's go.
one of my favorite spots as you can see so we got here on our bike and I would like to just stop park it and just relax here because the, the sound of the water reminds me of being back in the Philippines And then later on, we'll head down there and then you'll hear the sounds of the birds. It's so nice to meditate there. Ah, peace and serenity. <laughs> I think all that's laughing now is a piña colada. Thank you. 
finally made it to Upper Tower Beach. I absolutely love having a picnic here. Eddie's over there, just gonna prepare our baon, our picnic, but have a look at this view. It's so amazing, oh my gosh. Now, of course, it's very different here. It's gonna be a cold kind of beach. We're in Manila, you can wear a nice summer dress. Today we just happen to be so lucky that the weather is pretty cool. Like I don't have to put on a sweater or a jumper or anything. So this is just perfect weather here in Aberdower, Scotland. <laughs> I'm starting to get chilly and I have to put this on but I wanted to share that when I was younger my parents would have pulutan and this is their pulutan so I grew up with this and yeah this is not a paid ad but you can't bring out the Filipino in me so and dito ang chichiri ako pulutan ko yeah bagay sa beer cheers guys I am just so proud of my handyman there's no way I could pump my own bike. I don't know if it's pumped yet. <laughs> it's not. So we picked this spot for social
looking forward to today because we are gonna get a new bike and hopefully bike round five. <laughs> website called Gumtree. They sell a lot of secondhand stuff. I think all secondhand. So check that out. It's not. Oh my god, so creepy. There's a guy staring at the window. Look. Yes, yeah. See oh my god. It's, it's, it's a cutout. Yeah. I know, but it's like it's yeah. surreal. Hey. Well, I won't skip that. good size it fits you it's a good size the bike it's the proper size for you if you're to buy it in the shop that's the one you then end up with size wise Ta -da. Ta -da. i think this bike was waiting for me because of the color so do i look pretty in pink <laughs> there. there we have our his and her spikes looking good very happy mine is second hand because I just like saving the environment that way. <laughs>
All right guys, hope you're having fun so far. From here, we're gonna head on to the beach of Burn Island and yeah, check out the shorelines. <laughs> here we are, the beautiful Burnt Island Beach. Oh, everything looks amazing and pretty. Not as crowded as Aberdour, but still such a beautiful view. charging that is a scenic view right there and uh, this place is like a minute away from Eddie's home uh, I'm saying a minute away because we're on our bikes but yeah that is quite the view pretty very very pretty The other afternoon we saw a boat over there and some guys were just off to go fishing fishing or catching crab and yeah it would be so interesting to catch our own dinner but unfortunately i don't know how to go fishing but eddie does okay. eddie fishing rods eddie says he'll teach me how to go fishing but we don't have okay. the materials get, or the tools you get the rods i'll teach you okay so i have to figure out how to get the rods <laughs> fresh fish why not Forced, yeah, we made it back to Burnt Island. Woo! Okay. Woo! A fierce to fear on half of Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> 